Hi guys, it's Grow Girl again, and we are out on the Trinity Trails today. So our topic for today is ethnobotany. Have you ever heard of ethnobotany before? So ethnobotany is the study of plants and how they're used, whether that was for medicinal purposes or religious purposes, so either past or present, how do we use plants? So we're gonna take a walk today on the Trinity Trails and see what kind of plants we can find and talk about what those plants are used for. So come along as we go explore. So we're standing right here in front of a pecan tree, which is one of my personal favorite trees. Pecan trees are the state tree of Texas, and pecans, as many of you know, are used for food. So the pecan nut that comes from the tree, we eat those now, but thousands of years ago, people ate those as well. So pecan trees are used for food, and that's a perfect example of ethnobotany. So the next plant we found out on the Trinity Trails is wild garlic, also sometimes called wild onion. So you know it's wild garlic or wild onion if it smells like onion. So we tried to pull some up, kind of hard to get out of the ground, but actually there are there is a bulb at the base of the onion, and you can see this is its blooms up here. People use wild onion for food, so that people used to eat it and people still can eat it. You can chop up the stems just like you would chives and you can use it as a garnish or something on top of your food. You can also rub wild garlic on your skin to help protect you from insect bites and infection. So here we are in front of a cottonwood tree. Cottonwood trees, you can use either their leaves or their bark, and they have a plethora of things that they can do. They can reduce fever, they can help with an upset stomach, they can even relieve coughs and colds, as well as many other things. All right, so now it's your turn. So head to our website where you can find the activity for today's video. So here is our observations sheet that you're gonna to use to collect information. So here it says plant one. So you're gonna go online and choose your top three favorite plants. So plant one, plant two, and plant three. So you'll choose your top three favorite plants. You can write the common name and scientific name. Then you'll be able to write in what the plant was used for and maybe currently is still used for, as well as a plant description that you'll find when you head outside as well as the location and surrounding habitat and other things. So that could include maybe animals or insects on the plant, diseases or pests you may see on the plant, that kind of stuff. So head to our website to find out more. Thanks so much for joining us guys. Have fun, get outside and stay safe.